We're back at the World Figure Skating Championship where there's been an unexpected development. That is Dorothy Hamill, who should be beginning to skate right now. However, while we were away, a West German girl from Munich skated, gave quite a good performance. She got tremendous marks, five sevens and five eights, and has moved up to third in the competition of those who have skated so far. But the crowd didn't think those marks were good enough. They've been booing and whistling which is European derision. Dorothy Hamill is really shaken by it, and it looked to us like she was crying, and still is. It's a really tough break for the American girl trying for a world championship, and I would have to say a bad performance on the part of the crowd. Just a miserable thing oh, the, for the, people to do to a competitor. No, 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 she should be all right. Now she's just, you know, I don't know what. She's a very emotional girl. She's up one day and down the next. You know, well, and I'll tell you something, Dick. I would be pretty down if I was fighting for a world championship myself. Well, and I came out. This is the 10,000 people booed me for five minutes. Well, this is very true. The pressure yeah. is on yeah. her. It's so great. It's so great. It's so incredible that the poor thing has not got the opportunity now to really get a grip on herself. Now, if she has to go out and skate for four minutes, I think she's probably going to be shaken before she can even step on well, the ice. Well, that's obvious. That's her father trying to comfort her right now with the uh, brown overcoat there. Again, so many times, Dick, in figure skating, something happens that there is no way for us to anticipate. Well, when this girl, being a temperamental girl, is affected by this kind of thing, when she has a good day, she's up in spirit. when the pressure is on, and that's why she will probably now skate one of the best performances of her career. I hope you noticed that. They came Look to her and said, you can take a rest period. She said, oh, no. First out, away from her father, her coach. And now the crowd is cheering for Dorothy Howell. Let's see what she can do. And, of course, the audience now giving her a great hand after that because they know that they have put the pressure on her. Look at the smile on her face. She's back up again. She's out of that depression, and she's on the top of the world already. First jump could be important. Here it is, a delayed axle. Good girl. Next move is a double axle. From tears one moment to a smile the next. Footwork stepping right fast into a double lutz. Nice one. Remember, it wasn't a minute and a half ago that this girl was in almost uncontrollable tears. She was fourth in the World Championships last year. She's the American national champion and wants to be the successor to Peggy Fleming and to Janet Lynn. combination look at the arm position and a step into a double left very easily done with great ease great style she has improved immensely even since the national championships this year she has changed her program improved it judges having been roundly booed for their marks of the German girl are going to be on the spot when it comes time to mark Dorothy. She needs, remember, tremendous marks, probably some sixes, in order to catch Christina Erott.
Eagle, double Salgao, and flying Camo. He's skating beautifully so far, just beautifully. It turned out to be an even more important night in her career than she thought it would be. Split. Second split. 40 seconds to go. Final delayed axle. To a back spiral. Flying camel, and watch the ending. Watch as she drops from this back camel position, taps the ice, and turns into a back sit spin in what is called a camel camel. And as she finishes, just watch and listen to what happens. There it is. They're on their feet in Munich. German crowds who were so sportsmanlike during the Olympics didn't realize for a few minutes, I think, what they had done to Dorothy Hamill. They should have been able to see her crying. She was in full view of the crowd while they were still booing the previous march. Here's some slow motion, Dick. Here's slow motion now on one of her great jumps. Look at the height, the distance on that double axle, and a very nice landing. Flow out, right straight stepping out. Noten für den technischen Wert. Standing by for the marks. There they are. They're all there they are. Five five nine. Nine. A straight one five eight. One five five eight, eight from nine. the East five German five gun. Nine. Of course, five that five is the country that Christina Era comes from. Five Dorothy five made her decision to go out, but she was still five shaking. Nine. Five and in eight, tears, five and it looks nine, like it was a good one nine, for her career. Five nine, five nine, five nine, We're going to watch that five second nine, set of marks. If the finish could be close, it could be close. Figure skating scoring is extremely complex. It's a matter of ordinals that would take 15 minutes to explain, and points. The, score, the skaters are scoring. There's a six from the British judge. This is Pamela Pete, and everything else is five nine. We're trying to get the computerized scoring as quickly as we can. It'll be unofficial for the moment, but it's been accurate all the way through.